Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Maya Toktovic and today you're gonna learn basic skin retouching. I wanted to create a video that can help you quick retouch an image by doing it with the right tools. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use healing brush and how to dodge and burn. I'm also teaching private Skype 101 lessons. Book me through the email in the description. For this kind of retouch, you would need a tablet and a pen. If you're doing it with a mouse, it would be harder. In this video, I'll explain how to remove blemishes and how to retouch skin in a non-destructive way. There are a lot of ways of doing this, but uh, I prefer working on a 50% gray layer on a soft light mode. A lot of retouchers use curves for this type of editing, but this is just my personal preference. With dodge and burn, uh, you don't blur anything, you just brighten some parts of the image and darken uh, other parts. So when using dodge and burn, you work non-destructively. What I like about dodge and burn is that you are only playing with highlights and shadows, and that's it. It's up to you and me to make retouching invisible in some way. When other people see your work, they should say, uh, wow, look at that photograph, not wow, look at that retouch. Dodging and burning is the key to achieve great imaginary without blurring anything. So we want to clean the skin. Uh, for that we will need a new layer. So first step is creating a new layer that uh, we will name um, cleaning. Here is our new layer. Um, we will need a healing brush too. For that we will uh, hit J. We will zoom in a bit and start cleaning. You just sample the skin with Alt or Option on Mac near the problematic areas. If we want to remove this, we will sample here around the blemish and just cover it with a healing brush. We can as well remove the hair, but you should follow the line of the hair to make it more natural. We're almost done and then we can start to dodge and burn our image. Uh, one advice for you guys, uh, for it's, it's better to have a model that has really, really good skin, otherwise you will be spending much more time uh, in Photoshop than in photographing her in the studio or outdoors, so uh, keep that in mind. She has amazing skin, so it, it makes it easier afterwards in, uh, in the terms of dodging and burning. Okay, so we're done with cleaning. Um, step two in um, learning retouching basics uh, is creating a new layer again, but naming it Dodge and Burn. After naming the layer, we just put it in soft light mode. And then this option pops out automatically if you select soft light mode. So we will check this box and click OK. Now there's our dodge and burn layer on which we will work. Now you just need a little help uh, to see the problematic and dark areas in the skin. That little help would be our black and white adjustment layer. You're almost set. Uh, now you just need a little help to see the dark and problematic areas such as this one, this one, 
What you need to know is that every uh, imperfection on the face has a shadow. If we remove that shadow, we will remove the imperfection. So our goal is to even out the skin with dodging and burning. Step three is creating a black and white adjustment layer. So you can go here, layer, new adjustment layer, black and white, or just hit here on black and white with adjustment panel. Now we just have to modify the reds. If we pull the slider of the reds to the left, we can now see more imperfections and we know what to retouch, what to lighten, what to brighten. Now we see the problematic areas around her eyes, on her forehead, above her eyebrow, here in the shadows, around her nose and stuff like that. You can see her skin looks okay like this, but with a little help, her skin looks terrible. <laughs> So we just um, go back to our dodge and burn layer, click on it, so we just click on it and work on the dodge and burn layer. We erase this black and white layer after we finish, its only purpose is to see more clearly uh, the problematic areas in the skin. On this layer we will use a brush, hit B for a brush, and then we will just have to adjust the settings of the brush. We will use only black and white colors on this layer. So hit D for default colors, default background and foreground color. Hit X for switching the foreground to background colors. We will use first white brush, then black brush. So I always switch black and white simultaneously as I work. We have to adjust the brush for our dodging and burning. We will need a softer brush. For that, we will leave the opacity on 100%, but flow will be 3%. In your brush settings, smoothing, build up, transfer should be on and flow should be at 3%. That's your brush. If you work with the mouse, uh, you can use flow from 5 to 10%, depending on your preference. I use it on 2% or 3%. Let me just remind you that your hardness should always be at 0%. We need a soft brush. I'm changing the brush size with my Control alt keys on my keyboard. And I'm always changing my brush size during the retouching process. Let me introduce you to the dodge and burn a little more. The key of dodge and burn is brightening the dark areas and darkening the bright areas. That's it. So I'm just like using the brush softly. My pressure is really, really soft on my pen and I'm just brightening the dark areas, the dark patches. Usually, we can see it first around the eyes, the eye bags. So I'm just um, brightening the dark spots. That's it. Nothing more. But you have to uh, you have to have the right brush size. And you have to train the eye to see it more faster than you before. So you have to train your eye a lot for this. Don't worry if you cannot see it from the beginning, you will start to see. You just have to use this technique every day. So you can see, I'm using only white brush and I'm just changing the size of the brush. We'll see the progress. Mm -hmm. To make this line disappear, you have to brighten the shadow, but also darken the highlight a bit. Okay. I don't want to remove it completely.
And when using Dodge and Burn on lips, we just, like we did on the face, we just brighten the dark areas of the lips to make it more neutral. And then we shape the lips how we want them to look like. We can now shape the lips. We just look at the lips, okay? Then we can use the black brush to shape the lips. We just darken this area, the corner of the lips, and the eat on the inside of the lips, above the lips. We just use the white brush to enhance the highlights. On the lips, so we will see the before and after. Okay. This patch is more lighter than this, and then the, again, this is the lighter patch. So we have two light patches, and inside is a darker patch. And it's better to lighten the dark patch, and then just play along with the black so we can achieve more neutral look. You see before after okay. and then we can do it and apply it anywhere on the image um i won't be showing you the whole process because the retouching would take years <laughs> you see the point right so use it wisely We can turn off the black and white um, adjustment layer and we can see our progress here. We achieved some great results without blurring anything. So we just need to lower the opacity of our layer because we don't want to use it at 100%. I never use it in 100%. Okay. Let us see our uh, before and after. Look what we achieved only by dodging and burning. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, and I hope you liked it, um, hit like and subscribe. I hope I will post these uh, more often. Um, and of course, you can tell me in the comments what else would you like to learn. See you soon. <laughs>